Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. It would be Drax. Man, the graphics are pretty fantastic. I think that's like the bread and butter of this game so far. Not gonna lie. Designation, Hallis Hope. Uh, Busted. Hallis Hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a uh, this uh, thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal <laughs> now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. They did we'll that for... Beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not <coughs> injecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Uh-oh, who's this? My middle name. Bet you it's an ex-girlfriend. Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Oh my god. Peter Quill of planet C-53 under galactic law ZXB-47. I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, <laughs> tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. Do you want to end up in the kiln? Creature! Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corral. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech. But a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I was right about the girlfriend thing. <coughs> and that would be her boring party. We're screwed. Long story short, basically, we got busted, as the chapter suggests. Man, these graphics though, look at that. Oh my god. Hala's Hope, Nova Corps, Star Frigate. Currently patrolling the quarantine zone. Just speak to Centurion Corral. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? <laughs> no. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well Gardeners of the good. Oh hire, my god. Definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome <coughs> best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. <laughs> definitely not a raccoon. He's definitely a raccoon. Adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason <laughs> Quill. Th that's it? That's it. <laughs> All he wrote it was a character limitation. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. 
Cadet Gold. What are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. no, no that was no. good. She definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? Something sh uh, a, shady here. Sir, the real concern here is Regulation <coughs> 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. No need of Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Um. Ow. I had something in my eye. All memorized, sir. First thing we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal uh, creature in illegal space. Illegal fall in line. Just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain. The you... captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. What is wrong with this girl? Is there a problem? Yes. No faith, energy, no power. No power. No contain. Hmm. The techs are looking at it. They say they cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? <coughs> Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone, looking for God. Oh my God! Like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. Also, As I was saying, if you just tell the captain, we broke a tribe explicitly or the law. Want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Cass. Did she just say mom? Clarify the mom thing. No, super clear on the mom thing. Oh! <gasps> Oh fuck, I messed up! I- Oh no! Now me and the little girl are dead. <laughs> Alright, let's not mess up this time. Gotta push it at the right time, not instinctively. Go! So the little girl's dead then. Holy crap, dude. Oh, thank God. Oh, don't move. Come on. Gotta. That doesn't seem smart. <coughs> Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. Grab my boot. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. We're gonna fly away, aren't we? See? Ah! Hold on, girl. Oh, God. Am I doing this right? All you did is climb. Oh, sh shoot, that was close. Thanks. She's gonna like us a little now. I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right? Come on, we need to get out of here. Are they implying this is my daughter? There's a glass door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here, help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two. One. Are they implying this is my daughter? Oh god, that would be something different for sure. We need to keep moving. This way. Cadet Nikki? Whoa, just stay close. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? You can find God anywhere. Apparently. Oh, man, this is bad. Just give me a sec. 
Um, remove my handcuffs. No, I could probably help with the door if we undo these cuffs. Regulation 3B, never undo restraints. Oh, God, you clearly need my help. No, you're my prisoner. I tried. <laughs> Obviously. Ah! <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Hope so much for that plan. I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, Absolutely Danny. stand up. Oh, yep, okay. We are definitely in a very tough situation here. <coughs> There's another glass door. Peter, you better not die here. I should have done that instead of trying to get my handcuffs off. Take me to your mom. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord, or Peter, or you know, you have a cadet butt saver. Okay, Peter. <clears throat> so listen, I have some good news and some bad news about your. Oh family. God. Give me the bad news uh, first. Start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. That is that is good news. Clark. What's this? Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call some advanced components? I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. This girl seems very everyone must be worried. Frightful. Easy does it. Leave it there. Let's go before we catch fire. To worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. All right. Yeah, let's encourage her. Worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. A lot. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. She's... I reprogram most of them. She doesn't have friends. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very That's cool. Does your mom know you're way down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You there's know, no other kids? I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so <laughs> many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom uh, died. How do Aww. you know my mom exactly? Uh, we Funny story. On Mercury during the war. She was a, is a real spitfire. More like real controlling and bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods. Nikki. I'll empathize with her. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do. This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. <laughs> this is space, Peter. <laughs> yep, that's her. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. I want to show you something. I, I kind of trust you, but you kind of got me in handcuffs, and you won't let me it's go. A so. Dead end. Trust me. Of course, I trust you. Clearly. I kind of don't escape have a choice. Your mom's ship. I really need to know because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. Is this her it's like your headquarters? Hideout, right? Yeah. I definitely prefer this to the brig. Hey, this is Mercury, right? <coughs> uh huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? 50 50 percent chance. Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Uh, yeah, let's talk to her. Nope. 
But thanks. I'm almost done. Okay. Sounds like a plan. What's in here? Hey, secret stuff. Off limits. No Man, I should have took a peek in there. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should that was fast. get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So Well, you Peter, you're not a kid. Coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth I'll put in a good word. Exactly supposed to say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No. I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly. Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Got it, tracking. Need a hand? Yes. Got it. Mom? I... I can Whoop, explain. so much for that. <clears throat> At least she cares. Mom, seriously. A okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault. Some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. This got out of hand very quickly. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I don't know if I like that. <clears throat> Can I just escape now? <laughs> you, overreact. you always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. So I I'll back up for Nikki. About what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. <laughs> Being mean to him. Just listen to what he's saying. I, I got a friend. Care what he's saying. Upper level, captain's quarter. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. <coughs> yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Joke. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! <laughs> she was a lovely person. Someone, please get out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. <clears throat> you already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay, I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security. Or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. <laughs> Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! <laughs> she really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level six access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. Oh no. Yeah. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. Let's go. I'm not. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. It was a lot of feelings to bubble up. <clears throat> I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, 
Mom. I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, log down. Lock we got a friend. Disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. I'm assuming that's like a year. She's... She is pretty strict, I will say that. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, <coughs> quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. Hey, Star Wars! My favorite video, uh, I can't believe you still have IP it. of all time. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand <coughs> cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. <laughs> Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Uh, oh, this is awkward. 12 year old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. 12 years ago when we. Peter. Uh oh. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me th three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles. Wow. Uh, um, okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? <clears throat> oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. He almost ruined it again. <laughs> He's charming. And that's how he gets himself out of stuff. Aw, uh, Chewy. Got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. And we made a new friend. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. <coughs> 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's going to shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? Allegedly. And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. <laughs> Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. We're screwed. It's official. Don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. Busted. 